We're super excited to share some big news. Our connectors for Inventor, Rhino, and Tecla have officially graduated from beta and are now generally available, joining our already released Revit and Power BI connectors. Now, if you've been following along, you know that our Revit connector has been generally available for a couple of months already. It lets you create and load data exchanges and even supports advanced features like linked models and rooms and spaces in Revit 2026. So quick refresher, what are data exchanges? Think of them as lightweight subsets of your project data stored in Autodesk Construction Cloud, ACC. They're easy to share, easy to review in a browser, and perfect for keeping teams connected without sharing heavy project files. With the new Inventor connector, now generally available, you can load those data exchanges right where you need them. Here's an example. Imagine an Inventor designer who needs to configure custom balconies. They can load a Revit facade model as a data exchange and use it as a reference for the configuration based on the size of the openings and other requirements defined by the architect. Once the balconies are ready, they share them back as a data exchange. So the Revit designer can overlay that update with the rest of the facade planning. And because we all know design changes happen all the time, say the size of the facade openings changes, the workflow keeps things smooth. The architect just updates their data exchange and optionally creates issues in Autodesk Docs for easier communication. The inventor user gets notified and pulls in the latest version, adjusts the balcony configuration based on the requirements, and updates the previously shared data exchange. On the Revit side, the designer refreshes their data exchange, updates the model, and continues with documentation and drawings. And yes, you can tag any I properties from the inventor model and document data exchange elements just like native Revit elements, so it feels completely integrated. Now let's look at the Tecla connector. Here's a typical workflow. A structural engineer working in Tecla loads the architectural model as a reference for modeling additional steel structure and structural detailing. There are multiple options for loading the data exchange depending on the workflow and details required. After completing his structural design, he shares it as a data exchange. The Revit user loads this data exchange, groups it for easier handling, and uses advanced positioning to drop it in exactly where it needs to go. And, if there are multiple instances like in this case, copies it to different locations in the model. Their specified position will be retained also in the case of an update. Tecla data exchanges are also optimized for documentation, meaning you can tag them, add dimensions, and include them in schedules just like native elements. And finally, the Rhino connector, our third new GA release. This one gives Rhino users advanced options for loading data exchanges and referencing them in their design workflows. Better yet, those elements can be hooked directly into Grasshopper scripts, making parametric design even more powerful. Once the design is done, sharing it back with the team as a data exchange is just as easy, especially now that most our connectors have updated filters for creating exchanges, which align with your existing filter and file setup. And here's where it gets even better. All of these data exchanges from Revit, Inventor, Tecla, and Rhino can be aggregated in Power BI. That means you can create data-rich dashboards that keep everyone on the project informed and aligned. So have you started using data exchange connectors yet? We'd love to hear your stories. Drop your feedback in the comments and let us know how these workflows are helping your projects.